Carl, that's me, King. First of all, there's this guy, this is him, this is my buddy, his name is Schmeagel. Now, apparently, Schmeagel had a love affair with some uh, person in the southern uh, United States of America. And in that love affair, they, uh, they after he was done, about nine months later, Honey Boo Boo popped out. Because Honey Boo Boo's like, oh, she was a boo boo. And they just, some things shouldn't be on TV, and Honey Boo Boo should be one of them. It's bad. Bad, bad, bad. Now the reason I'm bringing this up because some cause some I, I've got, I've got more than one friend I got the bushy haired friend but I got this other guy and he's, he, he's he's I'm not gonna mention his name but he, he's a Kinder freak and this Kinder freak he's he's a freak because he buys chocolate Kinder eggs and he does and you know Kinder eggs are like illegal in the states and that's another reason why that's so that's another reason like uh, the honey boo boo in the states is all bad stuff so and 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 and. You know, he, he, he's, he's supposed to be intelligent. What I don't understand some, he likes his kinders and all that. And he's, he goes out and spends like a dollar or so on kinder eggs. And he gets his kinder eggs, he gets his chocolate. But, you know, if he would actually get off his ass and go on to bed, that's to eBay, he can actually get boxes and box. He can get like a whole bunch of eggs, not even open, like just the, just the toys, not even open. He can get all of those for like 20 bucks. He can get like 20, 30, 40 of them all at once. And there's a, it would, it, would keep, it would keep him occupied for hours because you know he can he can be he can be well you know what you know what he can be very Papa Smurf says he can be uh, small things you know yeah yeah so yeah and he's my buddy but and he's my buddy he's my buddy so is Destro but 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 Kinder Freak boy he's he's really my buddy and 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 you know what now now that we're on the topic we're gonna talk about who there was Asylum of the Dialects now some people say that was the greatest dialect story ever written you know what no it wasn't it was a better one was the last episode of the first season with Eccleston. It was good for two reasons. The Derlicks went away and Eccleston went away. Because Rose went, you cut off, and they went poof. And it's because Rose sucked up the TARDIS energy and then she got off. But that's not, so uh, Silent was an okay episode and you got to see the pawns, yeah. And then you got another episode. It was, uh, uh, um, what was it? It was Dinosaurs on a Spaceship. Yeah. That was a good episode, too. I, I call that episode the Harry... <coughs> I call that episode the Harry Potter reunion episode because you, know, you got freaking... You got freaking... You, know, you got Filch, who was uh, the uh, ground... The, the, the janitor-type dude in the Harry Potter and that Hogwarts. And you got Ron Weasley's papa... Yeah, and I guess then next week you're going to have Ron Weasley's Papa in it too, but Ron Weasley, he's not really Ron Weasley's Papa in this, he's actually, he's actually Rory Williams slash Pawn's Papa, yeah, and, and look, I've got this, this is, a, this is a light, this is Superman, he goes, do, do, do. So you know what he goes, you know what he sounds like, this is what he sounds like, so you got this, and you go like that. That's all you get, because, you know, you, you, you have to be a suit man. And then you got Dosh Limpet. He's my hero. That's Dosh Limpet. That's Limpet. And that's Limpet. These are two Limpets. That's Limpet. This is Don, Don Notch as a fish. Yeah. So, and then you got the other one. It's called A Town Called Mercy. It was dumb. If I wanted to see Cowboys and Aliens, I would have gone and seen Daniel Craig, and I didn't go see it, because I didn't want to see Cowboys and Aliens. First thing I thought of when I saw the alien, when I saw the other Doctor ship, I said, oh, look, it's Mark Spaceship. You know, all you crazy limey bastards, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But Doss Limpet, and I was getting back to my bushy, the, not the bushy-haired friend. He says hi, too, because he's a super genius. He's my buddy. But you got the other guy, I'm telling you right now, the Kinder Freak guy. He crossed the line. He inferred that I love Honey Boo Boo, and I think Honey Boo Boo is like, do you remember, okay, for you really old, old people, I'm talking like sad, like back in the 50s old, when you were watching, and you're watching TV, there was this stuff, there's this thing called Shake and Bake, and it's for chicken, and all that, and you know, so there's, 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 there's this thing called the Shake and Bake, bitch, you've heard me talk about it before, I think the Honey Boo Boo creature, 
is 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 I think she's the shaken big bitch. So I think she's either a reincarnation of shaken big or she's a shaken big bitch granddaughter. There's some well, you know, it's in the southern states, so they could all they're they're all related down there because you know how they yeah keep it in the family. Bye.